organization City Year supports students to help them become civic leaders in their community while working alongside school and district partners. And this morning we're being joined to discuss their 30 years of service right here in the Ocean State is Nira LaFortune. Good morning, Nirva. Good morning. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much for having us here. No, thank you so much for being here. And I'd just love for you to tell our viewers a little bit more about City Year and why this is so important for really Rhode Islanders to know about this. Well, City Year uh, actually started in 1988 in Boston, and Rhode Island was the second City Year site. And our first cohort of core members went out in 1993, and they served for a year, so from 1993 and August of 1993 to June of 1994. Wow. So this 2023-2024 service year makes it 30 years of service and impact in our state. Over the course of the year, City Year has evolved. It was considered to be the Urban Peace Corps, and you would see our core members Members downtown or throughout the state um, doing calisthenics um, in the morning to get them ready to go out to do service. Yeah. Uh, but now, as we've seen some of the challenges mm -hmm. that impact our communities, that impact our students, we've transitioned to a whole school, whole child model where our core members actually go into schools and serve as student success coaches, um, supporting students in classroom um, with their academic needs, helping them develop social emotional learning skills, and also doing some attendance coaching but also we develop leaders mm -hmm. um, who continue to contribute to our local community and we have some amazing city year alums um, we're honoring one right um, actually at our gala on May 3rd Wyona Nelson Davies wow. um, who started her whole trajectory with city year and now is a lawyer and leading this amazing organization in the state advocating for our community ensuring that policies um, are created to serve all people um, which is our legacy and uh, embodies the city year values. Because you really do make such a big impact. Mm -hmm. I mean, truly, and it, it's something that, you know, obviously I can tell you're very passionate about it, which is incredible to see. And I'd love for you two to just tell us more about this gala that's gonna be coming up, because that this is a really, this is gonna be a big event. Yeah, so this gala is a celebration of our 30 years of service and impact. We're honoring um, people who have contributed to our organization and have, um, gotten us here where we are today. Uh, Sheldon Whitehouse, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse was actually our founding board member and was instrumental in bringing City Year to the state of Rhode Island. Uh, Alan Harlem, who's a oh, longtime yeah. uh -huh. board member, um, who has been a mentor, a bridge builder, and again, Wyona Nelson uh, Davies, who's one of our City Year alums. And earlier you said, I'm so passionate about City Year, and it's because um, I was served by a core member. Uh, when I was in middle school, City Year had had this program called the Young Heroes Program mm -hmm. in the early mid 90s and I was a young hero wow. and during that time I was young I'm an immigrant I was undocumented I was trying to figure out who I am um, trying to find my voice and that program one uh, taught me about the importance of serving your community and the power that young people have and it also helped me develop leadership skills and who would have thought years later that I would go to college uh, get a graduate degree in urban education policy run for office um, but also now come back as the executive director and I will say that city year contributed um, to my journey and so it's really meaningful for me to be able to serve serve uh, my community and to serve City Year the way City Year has served me. So it's truly for full circle. And I also will say that we have core members who are serving today and who've served in the past, and they're serving because they were inspired by a City Year core member who served them in our schools. You literally are giving me goosebumps <laughs> as I'm sitting here, and I'm like finding myself, this is unbelievable. It's it's an amazing organization, and City Year is actually at one of my, my at my uh, elementary school, the elementary school that I went when I was a kid. I went to Pleasant View elementary so uh, shout out to the Pleasant View team. Uh, so it's, it's really impactful so if folks want to come to the gala yes um, you can get your tickets at cityyear.org slash Providence click on events um, this is truly a celebration and also alumni are going to be there because they have contributed uh, to the city year legacy and one thing that's really important to me is that one of the core values of city year is service to a cause greater than self. yeah um, and it's really important because it reminds you it, 
I'll take that back. It centers us and reminds us that the service that we're doing is not just about us. It's about the whole community. It really is amazing, Irma, mm -hmm. what you do. And we're just so honored that you were here sharing your passion. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. I feel like we could do a whole show just on this as well. But this segment was sponsored by City Year. And you can RSVP to the Red Jacket Gala, which seems like it's going to be an amazing evening right over at roadshow.com.